Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use the U tag to underline text. Uh, to underline text, you can use a U tag. This is often used to signify that a section of text is important or something to remember. The U tag, um, with the U tag, the browser applies the CSS of text decoration underline to the element. Wrap uh, the U tag only around the text PhD students. So we want to find where it says PhD students. You can see it's here. Say so we wanted to find it quickly. We could text, we say we were looking through a large document. We could copy PhD, press Command F, and then paste it into here, and then it would get highlighted so we could search a large document quickly. But obviously, for this, we don't need to do that. So they're saying to just do a U tag. So we put the U tag in there, and then as you can see, it underlined the whole thing. But we don't want that, so we want to actually close it out as well. You would never actually want it to, you would never actually want to forget to close the tag because it just starts messing everything up. So you want to be really purposeful. Um, another thing, let's see, say we wanted to see how Larry Page isn't underlined. Let's say we wanted to um, underline Larry Page but use this text, text decoration underline. We could also go style is equal to text decoration underline. And um, and then we want to close this just so, oh, I'm sorry, we want to do a P element there, and then we want to close that P element. I forgot the quote here, and that's why it's not working. Okay, cool, and now you can see that Larry Page, but because I put a P element here, it also uh, uh, in, indented it here, so we wouldn't want that here. What we could probably do div, um, to make it so it doesn't have that same, but it still does a line break. But anyways, this is a way to do style underline, and uh, but the U element is obviously a much better way to do that. So we'll get rid of this um, this large, ugly bit of code. I just kind of wanted to show you how that worked. Um, another thing, if we were to do this, we could go class is equal to uh, pow, and then what we're doing is just selecting a class selector, and then up here in the style element, I could make pow. Um, we could do text decoration underline and then it would underline all of the uh, P element every, everything that's within this P element and that's just kind of how CSS works now the tutorial didn't call for that all it required is that you wrap the PhD students with this U and you can see this codes very clean and for specific uses it's probably makes a lot of sense to, to do this so if I run the tests we pass Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that if you find that me going into more depth and showing you some other CSS tricks that are related to this, if you find it useful, give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comment section because I'll know whether or not I should go more in depth or if I should just get straight to the point. And if you think that that would be useful, that'd be great to know. Uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.